And speaking of crackdowns, the city attorney of San Diego is cracking down on the sale of flavored tobacco products. That ban went into place in January of this year. And the city alleges they've caught some local stores selling the products to undercover investigators. Our Kasha Gregorczyk joins us live in Tierra Santa with more. Kasha. And Kathleen, both of these businesses, Keg and Bottle and Payless Smoke Shop, both have multiple locations throughout San Diego, and they are now facing heavy fines as the city brings these allegations against them. It's twofold. It's to get compliance, but it's also to punish and to send a message. Two San Diego businesses under scrutiny over the alleged sale of flavored tobacco products. A lawsuit filed by city attorney Mara Elliott accuses Keg and Bottle and Payless Smoke Shop of selling the illegal products repeatedly between May and August of this year. I sent investigators into these retail establishments and they made purchases of products that are not supposed to be on the shelves. And it didn't happen once, it happened many times. And that happened over the course of several months. As of the start of this year, both the state of California and city of San Diego outlawed the sale of flavored tobacco products, largely due to how the items attract teens to begin e-cigarette use. In a statement to Fox 5, the owner of Keg and Bottle said in part, we were informed two locations out of 12 allegedly sold flavored tobacco products to non-minor undercover agents. We are investigating these allegations. We assured the city attorney's office we will cooperate with them in resolving this issue. If the court finds the businesses broke the law, they face violations of up to $2,500 for each illegal sale. Those fines may double for violating state and city law. We will look at their sales records to determine how many times they have sold a prohibited product. And we don't know what that looks like yet because we just filed that lawsuit. So the next step is discovery. We're going to go through their records to figure out how many times they made those sales and then we do the math. And though we did not get an official statement from Payless Smoke Shop, we did speak with employees at both Keg and Bottle and Payless Smoke Shop who all say they had no knowledge of these products being sold. Reporting live in Tierra Santa tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Kasha, thank you for that.